sheets in case you can notice that my bed is naked. So today I really, I didn't really do anything. That's why um, I'm not uploading today <laughs> because the videos I made previously I've used them and obviously I'm now following the normal days. And um, I didn't really do anything today. I just went to Jesse's school. Today was the school's NBA party and um, it performed, it was so cute, but I missed it. Um, yeah, I missed the part where it performed because I didn't think they would let the smaller kids start first, but they let them start first. So I got there as he was finishing his performance and I was really angry, but yeah, it is what it is. So that's all I did today. I just went to the school and um, in the evening, I went out to like a small, it's not really a rest. I can't really. I didn't open it because it was just like a small place around the way to have like some food, like um, just normal distance. So I didn't vlog it, and um, yeah, I'm just going to join today's video with tomorrow's. So tomorrow, I don't want to um, do like my regular everyday type of um, vlog. I want to actually sit down and have a long conversation with you guys. <laughs> So I'll be joining today's only tomorrow's and since I didn't really do much today and it is going to be Vlogmas Day 10 and 11, right? Yeah, so um, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey Rumi's, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. Um, so today I'm going to be dressing up and you guys are going to get ready with me. I'm going out later this evening. I don't know where I'm going to yet, but I want to get dressed for that and um yeah so i'm going to be doing like a chit chat get ready with me i'm going to be talking about things i learned from 2021 and um things i'll do better next year and also my new year's resolution so let's start and please don't mind me i'm going to be looking down into different places because well i'm trying to do my makeup yeah so um well 2021 has literally come to an end like i'm so thankful to be alive because this year was a lot this year showed me a whole lot and this year just made me realize like i'm not above people that are gone because i've had so many close to death experience this year but like i'm so thankful i'm still alive till today and uh, yeah, it just made me appreciate a whole lot more. It just made me appreciate that, well, life is a gift. I've always known life is a gift, but it just made me really understand a lot of things. And then I put a lot of pressure on myself in the beginning of the year. I wanted to do a lot. I wanted to have achieved a whole lot. And I started a business. Um, I think my very first YouTube video, the dress I was wearing was a dress that I designed. So I started a business and it didn't go the way I planned it. Because it did not go the way I planned it, I wasn't, should I say, I wasn't prepared. I just, I, I know that you can't just start a business and expect it to go the way you want it to go. But like this didn't go the way I wanted to go and I did not try again. I just left it like that and I didn't do it. I, I'd spent a whole lot on it, but I didn't end up doing it. And that's not something I want to try next year. I'm going to try to do that same business and a couple of other ones. And I'm just going to push other, like, I feel like one mistake or one setback was all <laughs> that took me back this year. and. I just didn't want to try any other business, although I had other things I did for the year, but like I really wanted to try businesses, but I didn't come through because I had one failed try. So that's something I learned from 2021. Like I usually procrastinate normally, and I just got up one day and I said I wanted to do this, and then it didn't go the way I wanted it to go, and because of that, I just backed out, which was really. Um, was really, should I say, timid of me because I could have tried on and um, I'm that type of person that, was, that is always like, oh, will people buy what I'm selling, will people do this or will people do that? And I shouldn't really care about that because that's just excuses. Funny enough, one of the dress that I made earlier on this year, 
one of the designs I saw it like on Instagram and I kind of modified it a little but I never put it out there I saw somebody else she's selling it even though she's selling it and she's selling it for like I think 50,000 naira or something and I'm like yo that was my idea <laughs> like not necessarily my idea but what I'm trying to say is if you have something in mind just do it because that same thing you're having in mind, someone else is having it in mind and God doesn't just give one person an idea, he gives it to a whole lot of people and if you don't carry it out, another person will carry it out. It's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. So, um, I learned that from this year. I'm not going to let little things hold me back like, or like someone's idea, um, someone's opinion or something like that. People are going to do this or people are going to do that. It really affects me a lot when I start thinking of other people's opinion instead of just following what I want to do. That's one thing I learned. And um, yeah, usually I would come out and say, oh, 20, like when I was coming into this year, I'm like, oh, 2021, I want to do this, I want to do that by the end of 2021, blah, blah, blah. And I already put so much expectations on myself. Now, this is too light. <laughs> I already put so much expectations on myself saying, oh, I want to do this in 2022. I feel like most of the goals I had for this year were a bit unrealistic, if I'm being honest. They were a bit unrealistic. I was just like saying, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that. I didn't consider the fact that your mind could change the year is like a really long year. You can't just say you want to do this and expect everything to just go the way you planned it to be. So instead of saying, oh, 2020, 2022, I want to have achieved this, I want to have achieved that, I'm just going to take it a goal after the other. I'm going to take it one after the other. I'm going to take things slow and I'm going to go on like a slow pace because I guess I'll pick a month set a goal for that month pick another month set a goal for that month instead of saying oh gen i might have like a general goal that i want to achieve like a general goal but i'm going to pick it monthly or like quarterly or something like that even though i say um in january i want to achieve this i would also have something that by june i should have completed or stuff like that that's what i'm talking about so i'm not going to just put myself under pressure and try to do a thousand and one things at a time because I've already learned that it doesn't work that way. I've already learned that it doesn't work that way. Another thing I really like to achieve this year is to get well, my YouTube up to a thousand subscribers. I do not know how I want to do that. I know I put in efforts on my YouTube. Even doing this vlogmas has been a challenge, like a real challenge. I try to make videos daily just to put it out. But because I said I was going to do it, I'm trying so hard to do it, irrespective of how um, almost impossible it is for you to have like a normal day activity and also put out video every day. And um, I won't say it's actually doing well or something, but um, well, I'm still gonna do it. I noticed that on my channel, um, all videos do better than normal videos. And it's, <laughs> you guys, I know I'm looking crazy right now, but let's just hope the end effect is good. Yeah, let's hope the end effect is good. So, um, yeah, I'm not just going to get discouraged or like I'm not expecting some sort of miracle from my channel all of a sudden slow and steady in this series, <laughs> right? But at the same time, I want to be able to at least have a thousand subscribers at the end of this year. That's like a general goal, like a year goal that I have, that I want to be able to achieve this year. So that being said, um, what else do I have to talk about? You guys, I don't know what I'm doing with my face. I'm not really a makeup person. I've not done makeup in 
quite a while now I'm just all of a sudden trying to change the way I do my makeup and expecting it to work out if it doesn't work out I'll wash my face I also have um, a lot of things I want to learn as a 2022 I want to um, go to like a editing filming editing like I want to take like a filming slash editing course just for my well, personal use, my content and all of that and um, I feel like doing makeup <laughs> on this video wasn't such a great idea because my makeup is a struggle and I don't want you guys to see me struggling so this AC was making sounds in the last video I made and that's why I turned it off right now but um, I think I'm beginning to feel the heat and I just might turn it back on um anyways i'm also going to be getting like a smaller camera um for my vlogs and all i'm not going to use my phone anymore i want to invest i want to actually invest in this youtube thing i know it might not really be a smart idea for like a startup youtuber but if i can't think of it i've already invested a lot so what's the difference <laughs> There's really no difference. I could just as well go all out. I just hope that it's a better year for me and I get like better audience and all of that. Um yeah. Before I came out to make this video, a yeah, lot was in my head. We're sitting there in front of this camera now, I'm like a bit blank. I don't know. I just feel like, well, I'm just thankful to be alive because 2021 was a lot for me, you guys. There's a lot I did not share and people did not even get to know this year. I've had a lot of failed tries in different things that I tried to do. And, um, yeah, being alive is just like pure luck. Like, it just is it's not my time, like. I, I must have something I really need to achieve. That's why I'm alive. And well, glory be to God, I'm still alive today. And um, so for 2022, I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of travels. Um, maybe not really a lot of travels, but I feel like I'm going to be traveling because since. I had my son in 2019. I have not left the shores of Nigeria and I'm kind of over that. This year I was sucking a lot and um, yeah, I did not do a lot of things that I would have done normally. I was always home. I was doing a lot of sucking and just being by myself. There is also something that I noticed that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about which is um, okay, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like being alone in a space, staying alone, not like I'm alone, my child is here, my help and all of that, but like, I'm talking relatable type of alone, I don't know if that makes sense, but like, living alone can be depressing sometimes, especially when things are not going how you want them to go out, things are not going as you planned. I used to see, like, when I was in school and all, I couldn't wait till, like, I have my own place. I wanted to have my own place, like, now and all of that. And when I eventually did have my own place, like, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of young people, they just want to, um, they can't wait till when they get their own place, they want to live alone, you know, stuff like that. And I was one of those people that wanted to, you know, your house, your rules type of thing. But I feel like it can be depressing. I don't see people saying much about the depressing part of it. It's yes, it makes you responsible. It makes you know that yes, you have bills to take care of. You get up. You have to. You have to do things. Make get things done and stuff like that. But at the same time, it kind of leads to depression, especially if you're the type of person that somehow, somehow just entered into a shell. I literally stopped going out and I stopped doing a lot of things that I used to do. I feel like it was just a lot on me and then I was literally, literally <laughs> getting, like, it just wasn't good for my state of mind. 
I was literally getting depressed and all of that, which was crazy because hmm, I thought I had passed that stage of my life where little things would just like get to me. But apparently I'm not. I would just like sit at home and then I would just start thinking about things generally and it just wasn't good for me and I realized that if I do not actually get like a daily type of activity to do, not something that brings and come to you but you don't have to be there. I need the type of person I am, I need something that I have to get up and go out and do something every day. That's what I noticed this year and I'm going to work on that next year. So whatever business I'm going to be starting is going to um, need me to be active because I already know now that I'm not the type of person that can just sit in one place. Like I've always known I'm not the type of person that can sit in one place but like just sit in one place and not do literally anything even though like I have a source of income but I don't have to go out, it's like coming to me, you know. I need something that I will have to stand up and go out for. Because like, yeah, that's just what is going to work for me. So the moisturizer I used was the one I got from Mini, so this moisturizer. And it is actually sitting real well on my face. Like I feel like, the way I started my makeup, I feel like I was doing rubbish. But like the makeup is actually blending real well, better than I thought it would. I was actually really scared that I was doing rubbish. But I know the camera is showing it. Mm. <laughs> but like the makeup is blending real well. So yeah, another thing that I want to do next year is to travel more, um, start a business. Um, I would have really loved to move out of my house, this is my current house because well, I've never really shown you guys my house before but if you can tell, if you really watch my videos, you will know that my place is really big. Like the space is so big and at the end of the day, this room, before I turned this into a filming room, I probably only entered here once or twice in six months, which is crazy. My BQ has been locked since I didn't do the business I wanted to do anymore. And um, yeah, it's just like that. I'm not using most of the space. I just feel like it's so big. I'm paying a lot for rent. It's just a big space. I'm not really using it for anything. And left me, I would have wanted to like move out, but that's kind of too late already. It's kind of already too late. But like, I feel like this place is so big, it can even get crazy sometimes. And I would want maybe like someone to come stay with me, but at the same time, I'm not... You know that person that you go and visit and then the person is in a room, probably on a phone or something like that, that's the type of person I am. <laughs> you probably get bored and you just want to go back to where you're coming from. Yes, yeah, so another thing I want to well achieve next year is to grow my channel. Um, I don't know how I want to do that, but like I'm already working on some ways to build my channel, better content and stuff like that. Um, what am I supposed to do next? Okay, better content and stuff like that because I've already gotten like really into this old YouTube thing. I say like a joke literally. Like I'm so into it and also like I said I've been spending a lot on it. It will make sense for me to not <laughs> it will make sense for my channel not to actually grow after like the effort and all that I'm putting into it. So I'm going to find better ways to promote my channel. Better ways to promote my channel and hopefully it grows um, next year from like July I want to probably have at least by July I want to have at least a thousand subscribers that's like a half um half year plan that I have also 
I need to change my car. I honestly don't want to um, start saying by this time I want to do this, by this time I want to do that because I don't want to put like too much expectation or pressure on myself. I know I want to change my car next year because I've had this car for hmm, actually just a little over a year. No, actually I've had this car for almost two years and I just feel like I'm a bit over it. And I want to get a better car that I can use for a longer period. And um, I want to get an SUV. Also, um, I do not want to mount pressure on myself and say, oh, by so so month or by so so date, I want to have achieved this. No, I don't want to do that. I just want to take things slowly and just let things play out the way they are supposed to. But hopefully, um, things are going to go the way I want them to and yeah that's literally what I want to do for 2022 I want to have like a better relationship with God of course and I'm working on it I'm working on it <laughs> I'm working on it but like at the same time I want a better relationship with God so that is that and ah i thought you done babe what's your year resolution i don't have one no you do what's your year resolution i don't have one why are you forcing me to me am i a child okay what that shit doesn't work yeah, it doesn't. That's exactly what I'm saying. So it it's not. Work. I feel like when you pull pressure on yourself and start saying by so so and so, you want to have. This no, problem. this is it. My New Year resolution has always been getting more responsibility. That's a push to me to make more money. You want more responsibility yes. so you can make more money. Yeah, for being a man, uh -huh. having more responsibilities. Mm -hmm give you that push. For those who don't have responsibilities, those are the kids that play with money. When you know you have responsibility, I'm not asking you again because I'm feeling like you're beginning to throw some certain subs at me. No, I'm not. I'm just telling but you. But do I play with money? Do you think I play with money? No, you don't. I've yeah, become more really, responsible, right? Yes, you're really good at saving. That's one thing I know about you. Uh-huh. But you still somehow don't know the use of money. You save for wrong reasons. Yeah, I would agree with you on that. Sometimes I just save, 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 and look at how I lost money like ending of last year. I'm filming. I lost money like ending of last year. Oh, oh. Please, I'm making a video. Bye, Jesse. Close the door. So I lost money like ending of last year. Money that I saved and saved and saved. And that stuff like that always happens. Like, when you're saving and you don't have a goal, that's something I know. So like when you're saving, also have a goal for what you're saving for. Like have be like, I'm saving to be able to do this or I'm saving to be able to do that. If you don't have a goal for what you're saving for, I feel like you're just going to end up like me. But I'm always trying to save. I'm always trying to be well, smart. Like I just said you save for the wrong reason. Because My own case is I save and just look at the money. No, which you is not save smart. because you don't have a need for the money. So that's what, what you mean by responsibility? Yes, so okay. for me, the, the push I had to become a, a man is creating responsibilities for myself. Now I know I have this responsibility. I have this need. Having a need and having a want, that there are two different things. So most people, they have want and not need. Most people, they have need and not want. So you're saying your new resolution has always been to have more responsibility that way yes. you're more accountable. Yes. Okay. That gives me more push. Okay. <laughs> so you guys heard that. For me, I'm really not going to put a date on myself. Like that rubbish that people always do. Like by this I want to have I'm not gonna put a date on nah, myself. So I just know just things. Wake up and be like, oh you know what my new year resolution I'm not drinking again, I'm not gonna party. Yeah, it's almost impossible to say <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's possible but like consider a few months. If after. it's not possible, there's nothing called a new year resolution. But babe, there are people that have actually said they don't want to drink anymore and they stop it. Now nah, you're drinking because you don't want to drink. 
or you stop because you don't want to drink. Yeah, not because it's a resolution. Yes. How 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 does that become your new year resolution that oh I don't want to take alcohol anymore? Oh, oh I don't want you like, know what my you, new resolution. You could get up want. what I'm trying to say is you could get up and say you're done drinking. You could just you could do that any day. It doesn't have to be New Year's. You could do that any day. And the mistake people make is for me, your best date is your new year. Uh-huh. So that's where your calendar arose from. Okay. And not first of January. Um, so like literally that's just it. I feel like I've outgrown that rubbish of saying every year and by the end of this year I want to do this by the before you know it, oh my gosh. Before you know it, the time you've given to yourself is just gonna come and go and you you won't have actually achieved that thing you were saying you wanted to achieve because some people do so for some people having a new resolution is like a push i mean having the target in life is yeah so a new resolution so, is like a target nah i don't see it like a target i some see people like do. You're just saying it to please people when you have targets in life you tell yourself oh i need this certain degree yeah before i become this age yeah that's what we call the targets mm -hmm. and not the resolution like oh i don't want to oh i must achieve this thing but like you don't necessarily have to tell people what that thing is you might just say it to yourself by like this day i want to achieve this and that's I mean, from when you clock 12 mm -hmm. till maybe sometime way back yeah you always do the oh new year resolution to oh i'm not you know what i'm not going to do this I'm How over it. I'm How very over it. I feel like I've never achieved the New Year's resolution before. Okay. I've never, ever achieved All right, time out. <laughs> I'm going out. Thank you for... Wait for me, Joy. Thank you for coming I into... I busy. Thank you for coming into the roomy show. I'm almost done, babe. Oh my god, I used the wrong color. This is freaking black. Wait, what? <sighs> babe, I've used black on my eyes. Okay, I'll make it work. I'll just blend, blend, blend. I just said I'm bouncing. I'm going out. I know you're not going out without me. But you're making it. You're just making up to make a video. No, I'm making up because we're going out. Can't I make up? Can't I look good because we're going out? But my makeup is actually sitting well. <laughs> so I got ah. something from um, what's it called? Like a um, this thing from Miniso. And I was very skeptical about it, but I just used it now. And I feel like it's actually working. I'm really excited. I feel like my makeup will look banging at the end of the day. Don't rush me, don't rush me. Don't rush me. I have to take my time. You know I'm the jewelry. I already told you yesterday. I'm the jewelry. I'm the accessory. You are the... <laughs> I'm making this... No, no, no! I pressed record. I just saw my reflection in the in the monitor, and this this this, this look is not looking. It's not. It's actually called the lens and not the monitor. Whatever it is called, my people understand that I cannot speak English to save my life. So um, yeah, that's how you know you are not my subscriber because my subscribers know that Rumi can't speak English to save her life. Mm. No biggie, no biggie. It's only you I used to speak English to and just like try to oppress you a little. Oppress who? You. Speak for for me, let me hear. You will make a look at. You will make a look at. Should I keep it? Oh, they call me Leko. How do you mean that shit is not working for me? <clears throat> like, the master is so focused. Like, put some respect on my. Bad language. Yeah, you don't have manners. You're cursing on my channel. You're very disrespectful. I believe your channel is your channel is just for adults. <laughs> but like kids could see. Okay. Kids could yeah, see. You need to put some parental control. Parental control on my child, I don't understand. My child. I said kids could see. I did not say I will see like I'm a child. Mom, this guy is waiting at the junction. Oh yeah, go, go, go. I don't think it's telling but to wait for us. We'll drive there. He's already waiting. Don't do this. You want me to go out with our face? Why are men always like this? Why are men always like this? Babe, go. Let me finish my testing. Close the door. Thank you. Okay, I can go, right? Do you really want to go without me? How am I supposed? He's already out. He's not driving. 
So he's waiting at the bus stop? Yes. You promise to give him a ride? Mm hmm. Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Well, I don't know why he's not driving, so I just said I was going to give him the ride. Right. You should use Uber. You should use Uber? Uh huh. Where we're going to is just right in front of his house. So why is he using Uber? Then you should walk. Why are you trying to be difficult? <laughs> I'm almost done now. Yeah. I'm almost done, I'm almost done, sorry. Hi Romy, she'll be back tomorrow with yet another episode. I'm not You'll done. have a wonderful I have night to conclude and my stay video. Ten. It doesn't work that way. I'm not rude to my viewers and my subscribers. We are okay, it looks better. But I'm like the same level of maturity and thinking, you know, we have understanding, mutual understanding. If I go off like that, they will know or something is up. Because Rumi never goes off like that. I was just telling them how I want to build my channel next year. That's a New Year's resolution that I have. Probably the only one that I have. Because I don't work. You know how much people. I hate keeping people waiting. Here you go. I just go now. So how are you supposed to get there? I will not come again. Now. Why? You know, because you can't wait for me. Man, you don't look like you'll be done in the next thirty minutes. Because you're doing this, that's why I'll be done in the next thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> no, not thirty minutes. I'm I don't going. want to stay out too late. Is there someone you have to go home to? Do what? Is there someone you're trying to get home early to? Why am I staying out late? Because the person you want to get home to is going with you. No, the country is not safe right now. Hmm. Hmm. I'm only still not sure. To like five minutes? That's not possible. If I tell you five minutes, I'll be lying. But like... So like how many minutes? Hmm. Say 10 minutes max. You're here shouting and doing everything. You have not dressed up. All. I'm done. <laughs> I know you're done. Your dressing doesn't take two minutes, literally. Two minutes. It dresses up in two minutes. I don't know who does that. So I feel like my brows are actually too dark. You guys, I went from telling you live updates to just like talking in here on your faces. So, um, my brows, I feel like they are too dark. I don't know, probably just my thinking. But like, yeah, so I'm not working with no New Year's resolution this year because I'm like over it. Every time I set one, it just doesn't work out the way I think it will work out. And I'm done disappointing myself that way. So the only thing I'll say I want to achieve, like a target that is almost like a resolution this year, is my channel. Like, I want to actually, like, grow my audience and all of that. But apart from that, everything else I want to do, I'm going to take my time and just let it fall in place and then do it. It's not going to be because it is a resolution or something. It's going to be because it is due, long overdue. Like my car, my car is long overdue for changing. So that's an example. Um, I think I'm done with this. Um, now I'm just gonna do my complete my brows. So another thing that I'll be taking real serious next year is gonna be my fitness and diet. Well, I'm not gonna be doing like a diet diet, but I'll be eating healthy and eating clean every once in a while. I might go out of that, but like that's my goal. It's supposed to be a lifestyle. And I really fell out of it this year, like from the middle of this year, from July up to like December. I wasn't consistent. So I'm going to work on that and get back on track. I'll be going to the gym as well. But I'll not go like every day like I've been going. I'll probably do four times a week because I'm definitely going to be more busy. So I'm also going to be uploading like my workout, my fitness journey. Um, what I eat and stuff like that. I'm going to be opening lots of that next year because uh, it's going to be one of the things I'm going to take real serious. So I'll probably be uploading my routines and stuff like that. So like, that's like 2022 for me. Um, 
Another thing I want to like really achieve for next year would be well, I really don't want to disclose a lot of the things I'm like aiming for. I don't want to put, like I said, I don't want to put like a target on myself. I know that. I'm just trying to work with like timing, the timing that I get when things come in place for me, they come in place for me, I guess. Yeah, so um, I think that's about it. <laughs> I just really wanted to like come in and just chat to you guys and just let you know that I feel like um, having like, I don't think there's anything wrong with resolutions so, but I just feel like having them is like a bit a bit a bit like overrated he's like for kids so, but like it works for some people when people come out and say oh but it's so and so i want to have this it actually does work for some people which is like real good but I, when i actually sit down and think about it i've never said oh this is my resolution and then it goes out it just goes like that like i've been able to achieve some things that i want to do Though that I really want, if I desperately want it, and like it's like on my pocket list, I just keep talking about it. But not because I have it at the back of my mind that is a resolution. Now, having like a, um, what they call this, a planner and all of that is actually a good idea. But I'm going to put myself under New Year's resolutions, pressure, and stuff like that. I'm just going to go with the flow. And I'm going to let the flow take me wherever it is taking me. So, I don't know, but I feel like my makeup is not bad. Not bad. <laughs> For someone that wasn't so sure about what she was doing in the beginning, this has gone well. And it is blending well. If you know me, I used to do makeup like, I used to actually do makeup a while back, but. For two years straight, I didn't put nothing on my face. I didn't have to like use makeup or put makeup on my face. So I just got real bad at it. And like with fashion and stuff like that, there's always something new every every other day. Someone always just comes up with something new and everybody's up in on the trend. So the way they do makeup from 2019 is not the way they are doing makeup now in 2021. And I haven't, if I'm being honest, I haven't actually been watching videos online or something that I would say okay I want to learn something new for my face now I feel like that's something I'm going to do so I'm going to take out time and just learn you know like a few new makeup um rules <laughs> so I'm not going to come out looking dusty these days people come out and their face is so beat and I'm like ah what's going on here like this makeup is so flawless that's 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 what people are doing now flawless makeup so i'm not going to be cut on fresh i don't want to be cut on fresh um so far i feel like i'm not doing bad it's still me continuously so far i feel like i'm not doing bad <laughs> i feel like i'm not doing bad but i know for a fact that i can do way better so you yeah, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this look of camera because now I'm just like ranting in your faces. I already passed out my information which is no resolutions this year. So um, now I'm just going to go ahead and finish this look and then come back so you guys can see it. So I'm not just going to be ranting in your faces. Capage. Hey me, so this is the finished look. Um, I don't know if I'm really liking it. I might just take it out because we're not going anywhere soon. I don't know if I should just use my normal hair or like I should wear this. I've not decided yet. But like, this is the finished look. This is the look, and yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.